Well, and as we've been mentioning, the eclipse now less than 24 hours away. Luckily, the conditions looking a lot better for tomorrow as well compared to what we saw today. We were dry this afternoon, but still pretty cloudy out there. Let's take a look outside in North Situate right now. It's a little bit chilly earlier as well uh, with those clouds mixed in throughout the day, but a little bit more sunshine in the second half of the day, especially farther north. We're seeing some breaks in the clouds here. Your temperatures not too bad out there in the upper 40s, 49 right now in Providence down at the coast, slightly cooler right now, Newport at 46, Smithfield right now at 48. So we're looking at clouds decreasing overnight tonight, just in time for the solar eclipse tomorrow on Monday. We'll be talking more about that in just a minute here. We're also looking at a little bit of a warm up over the next few days with temperatures closer to average and above average, especially the next two days on Monday and Tuesday. And let's take a look here. So the average high this time of year is right around 55 degrees and will be above average for Monday and Tuesday with plenty of sunshine both days. Now an unsettled pattern will return on Wednesday with with some rain, especially towards the end of the week. But overall now the temperature is looking to be a little bit warmer than what we've seen the past couple weeks with below average temperatures. Satellite and radar here, still some of these clouds working their way through, believe it or not, from this offshore low that was bringing us the rain showers yesterday. Large system still working its way farther offshore, but finally overnight tonight, any remaining clouds from this will exit our area. And with that, we'll have high pressure dominating southern New England for the next couple days, leading to a lot more sunshine and dry weather as well. So let's take a look here. As we continue overnight tonight, we're going to be seeing those clouds continue to dissipate. This will lead way to a chilly start to your Monday morning, but will be nice and sunny here. And with all that sunshine, temperatures will increase quite a bit by the afternoon. Here's 330 at the maximum coverage time for the eclipse here in southern New England. The only cloud cover we're tracking is some upper level cirrus clouds, not expecting these to block any viewing opportunities because they're so thin, but that opportunity is there potentially but overall though looking pretty clear right at that 330 mark clouds will start to build in a little bit more though as we head towards monday evening but the afternoon looking good monday morning here chilly start as i mentioned in the upper 30s but we'll warm up nicely by the afternoon here with your highs in the 50s here oh having a little bit of an issue. Oh, here we go. So in the afternoon, we'll be seeing those highs. It'll be mild and sunny in the low 60s here. So a lot milder than what we've seen the past several days. And again, things looking good right around that maximum coverage time at 3.30. So let's take a quick look here at what we're expecting in our area. So the eclipse, partial eclipse will begin here at 2.15. We won't be at total coverage like we're seeing in areas farther north, but at 3.29, it'll be around 90%. So it'll be a little bit dimmer here, kind of almost look like dusk or early sunrise and then it'll end at around 4 38 p.m in the evening so if you're heading out for any plans that is the time to head out right around 3 30 is when we'll be seeing the maximum coverage here in our area so your seven day forecast again looking much nicer for the next couple days any rain will be holding off until wednesday so weather looking good for the eclipse tomorrow I know both of us will be here at work and I'm sure it'll be fun for everyone involved. Yeah, if we can get outside even for a couple minutes just to look at it, that's the goal at this point. We all have our glasses, I think, right? <laughs> We're prepared. <laughs> all right, thanks so much. Now in sport.